France would be a homecoming of sorts for both Curran and Elkerton. Both their wives were from France, and both had huge local fan bases in Europe. But the biggest story of the event had nothing to do with the pending world title race. Because the Quicksilver Lacanau Pro was the Pro Tour debut for a highly touted newcomer by the name of Kelly Slater, a surfer who had already earned the attention and praise of the world's best, who were eagerly anticipating his arrival. Slater's high wire act was already being dubbed the future, and Americans viewed him as their post Curran clan. In semifinal two, Curran and Slater met for the first time on the world stage, an event not lost on surf historians or Slater himself. He was the guy that was probably going to replace Curran. And Slater would be the first to tell you, Karen was his hero. Oh uh, yeah, it is a little intimidating because he is my favorite surfer. Um, I think he's the best in the world. Kelly was really, uh, the, I think, the focus on, uh, on that event. I've surfed against Tom before when I was about 14 or so. He kicked my butt. <laughs> and those are strange heats to be in because here you have the guy that you kind of modeled yourself after, only little did anybody know at that point in time, that Slater would go on to be greater than Tom Curran. The semi-final clash was a stellar showdown between two surfing eras. Slater was captivating and flashy, while Curran was smooth and polished. I had to kind of surf a lot of waves, basically, to you know make sure I had a decent score and to prevent him from getting anything, because he was uh, looking like you know like he could definitely win the event. I may have uh, over did it a little bit. In the end, Curran's momentum was too much for the young rookie. I don't think Slater really stood a chance, in my opinion, to beat Curran in that heat. I think uh, experience had a, just about everything to do with why I, I won that heat. He knew what he had to do in a heat to win, and he knew what the judges wanted to see. Slater threw in a few of his new school tricks but I don't know if the judges wanted to see that. And so Curran did his textbook, Curran, and won the heat. But the Lacanau Pro is a truly defining moment for the sport, an indication of what is to come as Kelly Slater and Tom Curran share the podium on the beaches of France. Curran went on to beat Richie Collins in the final and record his fourth Grand Prix victory of the year. Having surfed through the trials, he won nine consecutive heats to take the Quicksilver Lacanau Pro. And by that time, I had a, a pretty good shot at uh, a title race. Here was Curran coming out of the gate and pretty much creating a lead on the tour for that year that just had everybody wondering, oh, well, what are we going to do? I'm very, very, very happy to, to get to the finals. You know, I, I had a hard heat this morning and I was really concentrating on the heat that I was going to have with Kelly and I, I wanted to surf against him real bad. Days later, with his current experience in France behind him and back at Trestles, Slater would get his first pro win at the Body Glove Surf Spot. Some saw it as fitting that his first pro win came at the same place Curran's did.